What's going on everybody? Hope you guys had a great weekend uh, and had an even better day today. Man, it's been a, a crazy weekend with some awesome people. Um, but I did a video the other day asking you guys for your opinion and thank you all so much for all the, uh, the input. Definitely didn't make it any easier, but I really appreciate it. So what I decided to do was just to go ahead and do kind of like a, uh, a little tutorial. I'll break it down on paper first kind of make it a little bit easier to understand maybe I don't know uh, I might make it worse but I figured it's a cool thing to go ahead and show and then uh, we'll do a part two of where we kind of apply what we learned on paper to the chainsaw to the wood and then I'll do like a um, like I said a full production video uh, a full carving video it's been a while so did get some amazing really funky cedar trees in Man, I'm excited about that. I uh, had a couple rough outs that I finished up today, waiting on a little paint to dry. And then I got a couple rough outs somewhere in here I did today. I got to finish up. Uh, don't mind the mess. I work like a tornado. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. We'll break it down, like I said, pretty simple, the best I can, kind of give you an understanding. And then uh, we'll take it from there. All right, so the easy way I can explain this is. Um, so no log is perfectly round, right? So say that's our log there. Hopefully you can see it. And then say this is like a side, a side view. Now I can't draw, uh, so don't judge me too much. Um, but the way I do it is I break it down into shapes. That's what I did originally. Now it's just kind of second nature. But with my log standing up like this, I'll come about two thirds back and I'm gonna cut this angle here across the log and remove this piece. And the biggest thing with carving is you're not, we're not carving a bear or whatever you may be. We're actually digging in holes and working in the negative spacing to bring out the image that we want it to be. So with no log being perfectly round, let's say this is that cut there. I'm going to find a, a place in the log that naturally follows that triangle for the head. Now, most of your animals are going to have triangles for the head. Some a little bit more narrow, some a little bit more wider. Uh, we do a lot of bears, so we're going to keep it simple with the bears. So this is this cut here. My second cut is going to be right here. And my third cut is going to be right here. All right. So these pieces go away. And you're left with this, just this triangle here. All right. Uh, my first three cuts are generally always the same to block in the head. After that, um, it's just little, little bitty pieces. Those are going to be your biggest pieces that you cut off. I try to maximize the log as much as possible. Um, and a good rule of thumb that I kind of came up with is I break it down into thirds. So I'll do the same distance from the nose to the eyes, the eyes to the ears, and the ears to the back of the head. And that'll keep it proportioned uh, and keep a good flow with everything. So like I said, my first three cuts, first one's here, at about a 45-ish degree angle all the way across the log. My second and third cuts are gonna be here. So these are gonna be gone. And then you're left with just this triangle here. All right, so from there, I'm gonna cut in my muzzle right from there I'm gonna cut in my head and block in the ears All right. so that's giving you your basic cuts okay now once I get that done I'll go ahead and, and use the chainsaw and kind of round everything out so it has more of a flow and that's going to give you your basic thing. So if you're looking at a side profile here, that's going to be your ears. I'll trim that back later on, but the head's going to come like this, and then the muzzle here, and then it's going to be break down here. So there's my head, there's my ears. Boom. All right, so in the log, we're getting rid of this, and then we'll work on the body later on down the road. So again, first three cuts, 45 all the way across, 45-ish. Second and third cuts are going to be in the side here. All right, like I said, the same distance from the nose to the eyes, the eyes to the ears, the ears to the back of the head. And that keeps that, that proportion right, okay? So with this being the log, we'll utilize as much of the log as possible. Um, that way you're not doing a lot of extra cuts. And it's really cool to kind of incorporate some of the knots and different things inside the wood um, to keep it 
keep it interesting and give it the character, okay? So, again, I can't draw, don't judge me too much. We'll say this is the nose here. We'll make him happy because he's a happy dude, all right? So from here, all right, we're gonna dig this out and bring this down. So this is gonna go away, all right? And this, we're just gonna give a little bit of shape to in the bottom here, this way. So they do have a little, little fat roll that comes across. All right, so I'll cut in that fat roll on the side. And I'll bring that shoulder blade with the bears. They actually connect from the, all the way to the back and then down. Now this cut that I do here, I'm pretty much doing a circle. And then from here, we're gonna do a rectangle and then drop that paw down for the square. And the same thing for the hip. So I'm gonna do pretty much a big circle here and bring that paw in. Now it looks crazy because I'm using a Sharpie and it's not going to be as dramatic. You're just removing pieces. Okay. So we're going to bring this up. Bring this down. And we'll kind of turn this back just a little bit. Probably should have used a pencil so it doesn't look as confusing. Give him a little tail down here and bring it down. So pretty simple. This arm's a little janky, but we'll work with it. Um, and again, you know, you had your normal log here all the way across. And this bear is just hiding in there. Like I said, we're just working in the negative spacing. Digging these holes out. And like I said, what happened or what helped me was breaking it down into shapes. Your triangles, your circles, your rectangles, your squares. Incorporating all of that and just removing a little bit at a time. And so those first three cuts are gonna be generally the same. All right, that's gonna give me my basic rough out. And then from there, it's just fine tuning. So, so don't, don't, don't judge my drawing because I can't draw too well. But all this, like I said, is inside the tree. And all you're doing is removing everything that doesn't look like what you're doing. In this case, it doesn't look like a bear. We need to get it out of there. You're not carving an arm, you're removing the material around it to bring that arm out. You're not carving the head, you're removing the material around it to bring it out, okay? And then from there, you know, we fur it, do all the detail. And he's a happy little dude. So again, that's basically it. Break it down into simple shapes. Just a quick recap. And then there we go, you know? Yeah. Boom. All right, so I hope that gave you just kind of a basic breakdown. Again, it's on paper versus really doing it. It's a little bit different. But get out there and start firing it up, all right? You can start with a bar soap, a butter knife. It doesn't matter the tool, the material. It's the same cuts, whether it's this big or this big. Um, and just breaking it down into shapes. When I first started this 15 years ago, that was the easiest way for me to kind of uh, kind of comprehend how to how to even start because I mean that's the that's the hardest thing but it'll take you a little bit don't get frustrated um, and just go out there put some music on and just kind of disappear from the world for a little bit so hopefully get, this gave you a little bit of clarity didn't confuse you too too much um, part two we'll put it in real life application okay and so each log is different the chainsaw is different the weather's different but that will just give you kind of a basic breakdown hope you guys enjoyed this uh, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And um, any way I can give back and kind of help out, I'm happy to do so. If you guys need any help or have any questions, feel free to call me. Changing saved my life a couple times. And if I can pass it on to anybody uh, or everybody, I mean, that's that's the ultimate dream. And, uh, and speaking of, thank y'all for allowing me to continue this dream of changing the world one piece at a time. I wouldn't be able to do it without any of you guys. Um, it's been a crazy journey. And I just want to give back as much as possible. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I say it every time. And I mean it. Hope you guys have a blessed day. And I uh, look forward to part two. Where we can get it all put together. And show you in real life. <laughs> love y'all. Talk to you soon.